Hey you guys. Um, wow, I really miss you. Um, I just wanted to give you a little special message today and let you know that I've been thinking about you. I think about you every single day and I really wish that we were together. This is a different time for all of us and um, I think things are going to look different in the next couple weeks and you might be hearing from me a little bit more, maybe watching some videos of me teaching a lesson. Um, I'm learning how to Zoom so maybe we can get together that way and see each other's faces because boy do I sure miss you guys. Um, I just wanted to remind you that you're still in my class and I'm still your teacher and I love you guys and miss you so much. Um, I hope that you're doing a lot of reading because you all know the only way to be a better reader is to read, right? Um, so I hope you're getting some good books that you can read. Um, there are a lot of choices that you can look at online as well. So I want to give you a little spring break challenge because since all this has been going on, I've been trying to get outside a lot and just find some peace in the woods or by taking a walk. And yesterday I went on a walk at a place called Clear Springs. And it's a little hiking trail right in Montague. And maybe you've heard of it before. I was there last week too and I saw um, Carter Hoffman's grandma while I was there and Lauren's grandma while I was there. And um, today I actually saw Braylon's mom uh, when I was out for my walk. So you never know who you're gonna run into, I guess, but um, my challenge for you is to, sometime this spring break, if you can, find a place where you can go get out and enjoy nature a little bit, and you can go with your family. If you can't go to a trail or a park, you can just sit in your backyard. And I want you to think about what we did um, in our morning meeting not too long ago, where we all sat quietly and we used our five senses. And the first thing we focused on are the things that we can see around us, the things that stand out to us. So I wanna see if you can do that. On your hike or when you're outside in your backyard, I just want you to focus on what are five things that stand out to you when you're looking around. And then think about four things that you can hear. Really tune in and listen to what's going on around you. And then think about three things that you can smell. What are three smells that you notice? And then two things that you can feel when you touch them. Think about their texture, if they're rough or smooth. Um, and then one thing that you can taste. And I remember when we did this during our morning meeting, a lot of us said we could taste toothpaste from brushing our teeth that morning. So just use your five senses. I want to tell you, um, when I was taking my hike, I tried this activity and I was by myself. So I could really focus on the things around me and I really paid attention to the different trees and how they look um, very different if you look, pay attention. And I actually took some pictures that I posted in this email and they're all pictures from Clear Springs. And if you wanna try and find them, you can go on a little scavenger hunt with your parents and see how many of the trees you can find um, that were in the pictures that I took. So uh, that was really fun to just really focus in on all the different trees. And there was one in particular that's my favorite every time I hike at Clear Springs. 
it um, it looks like it's crying. It's a, I believe it's a birch tree, and so it has really smooth gray sides, and then right in the middle, it looks like it has been crying, where tears are kind of dripping down. So um, that's my favorite tree in the park. Um, then I was listening to the different things that I was hearing on our hike, and um, I noticed that I could hear the leaves crunching under my feet and I heard a woodpecker that was pecking on a tree nearby and I heard some rustling in the leaves and a little tiny gobble gobble sound <laughs> and I looked over and I saw three huge turkeys that were walking nearby and um, I also heard some cars going by on the road, so I was listening to lots of different sounds. Um, I smelled the fresh air, and it smelled so good just to be outside. Um, I smelled some flowers that were blooming. Not many are blooming yet, but I found a little cluster somewhere, and I stopped to take a look. And um, I touched some of the different trees to feel just to see what they feel like so I hope that you guys can take on this challenge and sometime over spring break you can get out and um, really enjoy nature and find some peace and quiet um, I'm working on something special for you which hopefully I'll have ready by the end of the month um, I'm not going to tell you anything else. It's a surprise. You know how I like surprises. Um, but I just wanted to check in. And you can feel free to send me a video or send me a message. I'm really enjoying the letters that you're sending. I've gotten quite a few letters so far. Um, and I love writing to you. And I love checking my mailbox to see what letters are coming my way. And today I received a letter from Marley. So thank you, Marley. And from Miles Beacom. So thank you, Miles. Uh, so keep on writing me letters, you guys, because it's so fun to open something in the mail. I know this is a big month for some of you. We have five birthdays in our class this month. Um, Connor, Hawk, Marley, Leo, and Carter Perot all have birthdays in April, as well as my son. Um, Owen's birthday is on the 13th, so that's coming up too. So happy birthday month to you guys. And um, I hope that we can see each other soon. Like I said, I'm thinking about you all the time, and I miss you very much. And um, take care of yourselves. Keep on reading. I love you.